heading over to Solana Beach to Pete's Coffee, Moreland Choppers. I'm rolling up on about 5,000 miles on this bike pretty soon. I want to do a 5,000 mile review on it. Tell you guys a few things I love about this bike. Like this. Just pull right up front. Right up to the front of the line. That's what I'm talking about. So we got 4,222 miles on this bike. And I'm telling you, the first 5,000 we put this thing through the ringer. Now that I'm rolling up on about 5,000 miles, I think I want to tell you guys a little bit about five things I hate about the Lowrider S. So five things I hate about the Lowrider S. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing I hate about this Lowrider S. It's quite the opposite. I love this bike. This is an amazing bike. I got it a few months back, San Diego Harley. I put a thousand miles on it in two weeks took it in for the 1k and then put 3,000 miles on it going to Desert Hot Springs Phoenix Sedona Truth or Consequences New Mexico Albuquerque New Mexico Santa Fe New Mexico Madrid Tucson and back home I rode through high winds blowing me sideways I rode through two rainstorms, a blizzard, and a sandstorm, pushing this thing 80, 90 miles an hour the whole way. A couple times I thought I wasn't gonna make it, but the bike just kept on going and begged for more. So now that I'm rolling up on about 5,000 miles on this bike, I have basically nothing bad to say about it. There's absolutely nothing I hate about this bike. This bike's amazing. If you have not ridden one, get your ass down to El Cajon Harley or San Diego Harley. See my boy Tyler Mountain and test ride one of these bikes. You won't regret it. Well, the only reason you might regret it is because if you test ride it, you're gonna buy it. And then you'll be like me. So Harley Davidson owns your soul for the next seven years. But you know what? No regrets. This bike is amazing. About another week or so, I'm going to take it in for the 5K, go over it. But like I said, I pushed this thing 80, 90, 100 miles an hour the whole way to Arizona, New Mexico, put 3,000 miles on it. She just begged for more. This is the baddest bike that Harley Davidson makes right now, as far as I'm concerned. The baddest ass of the badass. So there you go. There you have it. Five things I hate about the Lowrider S. Nothing. Five things I love about the Lowrider S. Six gears. Bigger gas tank. 117 inch motor. Heavy breather stop. What else? I love, the, I love the new gauge cluster here. The new single gauge. I love the inverted forks. I love the front double disc. I love the mono shock on the rear. Well, there's about 10 things. Now you can, guys can just watch my videos and see how the thing handles and cruises and rides. I stepped up from the 883 Sportster at the 21. I really loved it, but I let it go and, God, I hate to say it, but this bike's so much better. The suspension, the motor, it's got the Milwaukee 8, 117 inch motor.
money and power. As I know a couple guys, I watch videos. They said some of the drawbacks of this bike is it's a ticket magnet. I haven't experienced that yet. I play it pretty cool though. Anyway, that's my little review about the Lowrider S. I'll do a little video on uh, the upgrades I've done to it. Not too many. Probably not going to do too much to it because money's an issue. And also, I'm going to do videos on my whole trip through the sandstorm, the rainstorm, the blizzard. I mean, this blizzard was crazy, man. Like I said, a couple times I thought I might not make it, but this bike just pushed through. So anyway, I'm gonna head into Solana Beach, meet Kevin for some coffee. I haven't met him personally. Met him through the Raccoon King. Got a little group going for four lost bikers, trying to find their way. I guess I'm one of them now. Beautiful morning here on the beach. A little chilly. I'm totally happy with this bike. Completely 100% happy with the 2022 Harley Davidson Lowrider S. So far, I have no complaints at 5,000 miles. Not one. Damn, did you see that? Fucking guy freaked me out. So it took me about 5,000 miles to get to know this bike. I think it might have been the same for the Sportster. I don't know why, but maybe that's normal. Maybe I'm a slow learner. So I think I'm getting to know this bike pretty good. The handling, the oil, all of it. We're building a relationship, me and her. I need to think up a name. She doesn't have a name yet. I named the Sportster Thumper because she thumped. But this... This, she, she growls, she's a growler, but that's not a very feminine name, growler. So if y'all got any suggestions for me about a good name for this black beauty. But anyway, 5,000 mile review, 2022 Harley Davidson Lowrider S 117. Motor Squatch out.